Donna McKnight, and I am partnering with OnFem, the premier trans feminine brand who designs clothes for people like myself, people who are gender non-conforming. You can find this outfit as well as other beautiful clothes on the website at onfemstyle.com. Um, we have a little series of videos called Help Me Hannah, and these videos are going to focus on different things about uh, the gender non-conforming community, specifically focusing on more of a, of a feminine presentation. Not that you know there's a right or wrong way to present as feminine. There's no rules, um, but we want to focus on a lot of the questions that I'm asked on my website at hannahmcknight.org um, about clothes, about presentation, about being comfortable, and probably the thing that I'm asked the most is about tucking and. Tucking was something that early on in my journey that I really wanted to get right. And I was terrified of what some in our community call tells. Things that um, physically give us away. And it sounds kind of trivial and I would never be concerned about that at this point in my life because I'm not trying to pass. I don't really think that you know, there's any sort of standards that one must meet to be feminine or, or to be pretty or to wear a certain, you know, item of clothing. Um, it all comes down to what you feel comfortable and what feels right for you. Um, but early on, I was really, really paranoid about things that would um, maybe communicate to somebody that I wasn't a cisgender girl. And um, over time, I've gotten over that. And but for some of us, you know, we worry about these small tells because um, we, we want to blend in. Um, we don't want, some of us don't want to be clocked as a transgender person, and I get it. It is not always a really safe place for people like ourselves. Um, but when it, when, it, when it comes to, when it comes to tells, when it comes to tucking, I got to the point where um, I was no longer concerned about you know, my shoulders or my voice or my, my Adam's apple or my, my anatomy. Um, I wasn't worried about those, those, those things giving me away. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to blend in. Um, I totally embrace and love the fact that I am a transgender girl and I expect other people when they see me, if they think about me, which doesn't happen as often as they think it does, I expect them to know that I am a transgender girl and that's okay because I am proud to be who I am. But the topic of this video is going to be about talking in different ways that um, that can help different garments that are available all again through on them we're going to try some different styles we're going to talk about what works maybe what doesn't work what i like maybe things that i like better about different styles so when it comes to tucking there is no right way to do it there's no right time to do it it is a very personal choice tuck when you feel comfortable tuck when you want tuck when you feel it is appropriate for what you're going to be wearing or what you want to do um, when it comes to tucking, the only real wrong way to do it is if it hurts. If it hurts, then you are doing it wrong and you should stop what you're doing. Pain is your body's way of saying, girl, stop. Um, when I tuck, when I wear a tucking garment, I know that I am tucking. I know that I'm wearing a tucking garment in the same sense that I know when I'm wearing a corset or a bra or six inch stilettos. I feel it. It doesn't hurt, but I know that I'm wearing it. I know that I'm tucking. So, tucking is essentially taking your penis and your testicles and pulling them back, putting them between your legs. A tucking garment is going to, if done properly and if worn properly, is going to keep everything in place. So, we're going to be looking at a few different styles today. We're going to be trying on different things, and this is very much out of my comfort zone, but we're going to hopefully have some fun um, and hopefully learn a few things as well. Okay, so we are going to try four different tucking garments today. And I wear different tucking garments depending on what it is that I'm doing. If I'm modeling lingerie, I'm probably going to wear a smaller tucking garment, probably a thong underneath my lingerie that I'm wearing for the shoot. Um, you're going to likely try different styles, different techniques. Uh, we may have similar anatomy, but let's face it, all of our body parts are going to be different. How I tuck is probably going to be different than how you tuck. And how I tuck on one day is, might be different than another day. Our bodies change, sometimes even overnight, and what worked yesterday may not work again for what we're doing today. Um, when I'm tucking, if I know, if, if I want to know if I'm doing it right, if it hurts, again, bad, don't do it that way. Um, but I will also 
sit, I will stand, I will walk, I will make sure that everything is positioned, if anything's falling out, then I start again. Um, but there are different tucking garments for different things. We're going to try four of them today, and we're going to learn a little bit about undergarments as well. So the first one that we're going to try today is a little blue satin one. This is more of a brief style. Um, when I tuck in a brief style, it's going to be different than when I'm tucking in a thong style. Um, one of the parts of the garment, um, whether it's a pair of panties or pants or even a bridge, is going to be what they call the gusset. The gusset is going to be the part of the undergarment that goes between your legs. Uh, tucking garments tend to have a slightly wider gusset. and um, that's essential to holding things in. Now, when we look at a different types of garment, like such as like a thong, very tiny, not as much room to work with when it comes to the gusset. So again, I tuck differently in a thong than I do when it comes to a brief. So we're also going to be wearing this cute little red one, and we're also wearing this other gray one. Call it Heather Gray because if we can feminize gray, let's do it. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the blue tucking garment on, so let's see how it looks. So, nice smooth front. Everything is definitely in place. I feel comfortable. Nothing is out of place. Everything is where I put it. Um, the garment is moving with me. Um, I walked around the studio. I sat. I stood. I didn't run up and down the stairs, but uh, I think it's safe to say that this tucking garment is working exactly how I need it to work. Um, when we tuck, it is almost always because of what we are going to be wearing over it. So we are going to show you how this looks and we're going to try in a vegan leather mini skirt, probably the tightest thing that I own that I can wear outside of the house. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so now we are going to play round one of the black vegan leather mini skirt challenge and see how this looks. Again, tight, smooth, and flat. This is exactly what I want out of my tucking garment. So, good job, blue satin tucking garment. Oh, look, my skirt is off again. You know, I was just thinking as I was getting ready to shoot the scene, how when I was younger, I was terrified of somebody seeing me in my underwear. And now here I am on the internet talking about tucking garments. Um, life is funny. So we are now wearing the red satin one. Well, I say we, I don't know what you're wearing. Um, if you want to tell me in the comments below, you can just keep it tasteful. Now we're wearing the red satin garment one. So let's take a look. So this one is also doing a very good job of keeping things smooth. Everything is in place. This does feel it has more of a smoothing structure compared to the blue one. I feel like the blue one so far would be a great introductory uh, tucking garment. Um, very comfortable. It's got a nice high brief, you know, style. Um, everything is staying in place. This one is, feels a little bit more restrictive. It feels like it is smoothing. Um, I don't feel like I had to do as complicated a, as a tuck as this one. I think this one does a really good job of keeping things nice and smooth and flat without much of a tuck. So again, feels a little bit more restrictive. It doesn't feel painful because remember what I said, if it hurts, don't do it that way. So I like this one, maybe more of an advanced tucking garment, if you will. But now we're going to see if it can pass the skirt test. So look, nice, smooth, flat, doing the job. So again, good work, Red Gaff. Love you. In other videos, I have talked about how much I love my wardrobe um, in terms of um, different styles for different things, different fabrics, different textures, um, different looks, different colors. It's so much more fun to get dressed when, um, when I'm going to be presenting as Anna for the day. Um, when it comes to colors, I, of course, gravitate towards pink. Um, I gravitate towards bright colors. Um, that's a you know big step from where I used to be, where I was just sticking with black. Um, to be honest with you, when I'm picking out my panties for the day, uh, gray is not usually the color that I go for. But sometimes we are going to choose function over style. And this tucking garment is a perfect example of it. So, Let's talk about it. So again, nice and smooth. 
This one is very similar to the first one that we wore, the blue one. Um, it is more of a brief style, um, but it does feel like the next step from the blue one, um, where it's a bit of a smaller one. Um, if you feel more comfortable when it comes to tucking and you don't want that high, you know, brief style, maybe you're a little bit paranoid of it tucking, of it, of it peeking up underneath the waistband of your jeans. This one is a smaller garment. It feels more functional. Everything is still in place, but it is tinier. This would be a good, more advanced tucking garment. Might not be as cute as the other two, but definitely the most functional of the three so Bet you thought I would forget about the mini skirt challenge. I didn't. Any excuse I have to wear this thing, I'm gonna wear it. So we're gonna show you how this tucking gray garment looks with this skirt. So just like the other ones, very flat, very smooth. Love how this looks. Uh, so this one also passes the mini skirt challenge. So we are three for three. Okay, now we are at the final tucking garment of the day. We are at the thong point. So um, I don't really feel you can compare a thong tucking garment um, fairly against the uh, more brief style. Um, again, the gusset on a thong is a little bit smaller. You don't have as much fabric to work with. Your tuck has to be a little bit more skilled. Probably takes a little bit more practice. Things are not going to be in place as much as a brief style will keep everything in place. Um, but I do have plenty of thongs. I do prefer thong panties. Um, I tend to wear thong tucking garments when I am dressing. Um, just because I prefer thongs. Um, it does take a little more practice when it comes to tucking. I don't feel that a thong tucking garment is as effective as a brief garment because it does not have as wide of a gusset. So, but they are still an essential part of my lingerie wardrobe because again, when I am modeling certain things, especially when I'm modeling lingerie or a bodysuit, I like to have something smaller. I like to have something tinier um, because it does, um, do a better job of hiding behind like another panty or again another article of lingerie. So we are going to show you what the thong tucking garment looks like. Um, we're not going to show it for very long because again it is a thong and this is for educational purposes only so let's give it a shot. So it is not as smooth or as flat as the other ones um, but again it I don't expect it to be. Um, I, if I'm looking for something smoother, if I'm more, looking for something flatter, I will probably go with more of a brief style. That's not to say that a thong tucking garment is not worth the time. It absolutely is. Um, I don't always tuck, um, but if I'm going to um, model certain articles of clothing, or if I'm not as concerned about a really, really solid tuck, then I'll probably stick with a thong. But if I'm wearing like um, like a very tight dress or on the rare occasions I'm wearing like pants or leggings, you know, something other than a skirt or a dress, I will probably go with more of a brief style tuck as opposed to a thong. So, but speaking of wearing tucking garments under clothes, we are going to do one final black vegan leather mini skirt challenge. Are you ready? So as you can see, um, it is not as smooth of a front as the other gaffs. Um, I didn't expect it to be as we saw before I put the skirt on, you know, before I got dressed. Um, it wasn't as smooth, as flat as the other garments were. Um, so again, not as effective, um, but I also still think it's an essential part of your lingerie drawer. So um, that is it for today's video. This was, um, <laughs> I don't know if it was a lot of fun for me, but it was certainly was a new experience. I hope you all learned something. Um, I know I learned a lot about myself. I probably am not going to have as many self-conscious thoughts as I did prior to this video. Um, but I hope you had fun and I hope you like and subscribe to this series so we can um, have more fun together in a future video. So, bye!